Hello. In terms of how to network. Good morning. So it is currently 7 a.m. on Monday, and I woke up a little bit early today because I have quite a stressful day ahead. Um, I have to deliver two main data analyses today. A little bit stressful, but I got this, and yeah, happy Monday. So I just finished my meditation and I'm gonna get my day started. I'm gonna do a quick desk tour of what my setup looks like since some of you have been asking. This is a sending desk from Herman Miller. You can adjust the height here. What I like about it is that it has such a big workspace so I never run out of space to work. This one is a LG ultra wide 29 inch. At first I was so not used to it, but after all it just made so much more sense because now I can have two windows open at the same time. Bought the monitor arm separately. What's cool about the monitor arm is that it gives you more flexibility um, to adjust your monitor. I can like move it towards me. I can also bring it up when I am standing. So when I bring myself this up, so yeah, it's a lot more flexible. In terms of how I connect my monitor to my laptop, I use this one cord only. I'll link it down below. It's so useful, it does its job. I also have this laptop stand. And it helps me angle my laptop so I'm not like staring into the laptop. Onto the most important part, which is my chair. I have really bad back pain. This is the chair from Herman Miller. When I sit for hours and hours, I feel zero back pain. And you can adjust the height, you can also adjust the depth of it, you can also adjust the armrest. For the chair, I will actually pay for it myself if it wasn't sponsored by Spotify. My boyfriend has an IKEA one. We always fight about who gets a Herman Miller chair based on like who has a busier day. Cup of coffee. We got this Sapporo bun from K-Town yesterday. I was gonna get the Taiwanese like pineapple bun, like the bowl of mian bao, but we didn't want to go to Chinatown, so. It has like peanut flavor crunches over and there's no filling inside. Pretty good. So looking at my calendar today, I have two calls today. One is at 11, which is a catch up with a colleague on a different team. And I also have a one on one with my manager at 12 p.m. Um, honestly, I usually don't have a lot of meetings. A lot of time I'm actually running analysis and putting together a deck. My role is not necessarily like meeting he heavy, it's more so analytics heavy, I would say. I'm sending my first analysis out, just checking the grammar and making sure every all the links work in the email. Oh my god, I'm late to my meeting. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Hello. Hey, how are you? Good, long time no see. I know, it's been a long time. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Even though we're like 24 days into it. <laughs> yeah, really. What are you working on? In these types of catch-ups I do with people on different teams, we usually share what we're working on and any interesting learnings from our current projects. Even though we aren't actively working on a project together, these types of calls help me build relationships and get out of my silos. For instance, I would do a catch up with a product manager to learn about the product development process behind a new feature, or even with an engineering manager to learn the concept of causal impact modeling. The more you network, the more resources and information you have. In tech, everyone is smart and knows how to do their own jobs well. But what truly sets you apart is when you can really leverage your network and become that bridge that connects different teams and close knowledge gaps. 
I'm going to share a quick story of how that worked for me. I learned about an experiment that this team had done. One time, another team approached me, want to do a similar experiment. And instead of us starting the entire experiment from scratch, I was able to point them to look at the experiment that the other team had done so that it became helpful and more useful for them to like kind of jumpstart their entire process and approach. In terms of how to network, I usually start with people that I've worked with before on a past project. So after the project ends, I usually send the person a message like this. Hey, I really enjoyed working with you on the XYZ project. I'm wondering if you'd be down to do a catch up as I would love to learn more about how you did XYZ. Let me know and I'll send you an invite. Most of the time people will say yes because people genuinely like to talk about what they do. <laughs> So I have some fried rice that I cooked yesterday. I like to meal prep on Sunday so that I don't need to worry about what I'm eating on Monday. Mm, day fried rice is the best. So I just sent my manager the analysis that I finished. Now I'm just waiting for her to review it. So I got these two toppings from Greater Goods. I actually went to their coffee shop in Texas, in Austin when I was there. And their coffee is so super good. It tastes like caramel chocolate. That's how good it is. Mm. Got a snack from K Town yesterday. If you know, you know. I used to eat this growing up, and it's called like dungeon. It's like buttery eggs, but they're crunchy. <gasps> oh my god! Yeah, hey. So the trick to eat this is you eat it with the tray underneath. So the crumbs don't fall onto the table, it falls here. And then you eat the crumbs at the end, which is like the best part. Mm. Mm. These crumbs are the best. Okay, it is currently 6 p.m. and I just got the approval from my manager to send out the analysis. Okay, okay. Hi y'all, hope everyone had a great weekend. Send. Alright, I sent it. Oh, I'm free. So for dinner, I feel like you guys could probably guess it. And yes, it is chicken noodle soup using my Instant Pot. Obviously, we gotta start with the soup first. Oh, soup is good. Mm. Look, the meat pulls apart. So tender. Mm. Got this dry figs. It's called uwaku. It's like dried papaya, dried plum, cinnamon, and sugar. It tastes kind of sour, but it gets sweet at the end, which is so addicting. It looks like this. Oh, I'm 
Wait, when did you buy this? Oh, okay. It's so hot. It's hard. Oh, so sour. Why can't this I I don't care. It's so soft. It's like. I think this is not the traditional mango. It is. You just probably take the end piece. It's soft. It's soft, right? Is this mango? 